just give me one second. I don't know if you realize, but macro photography is fading out slowly but surely. Over the past couple of years, the one thing that you'll see brands, camera brands do, they're releasing all of these new lenses and cameras and things like that, but you hardly see them releasing anything for macro photography. And you hardly see anyone speaking about macro photography. It's now... Um, focus stacking and so and those type of things. Focus stacking is basically taking a photo. So it takes a photo of the three, then it takes a photo of the E and the M and the I and the T and then the numbers and so forth. So it takes a photo of each and each and every one of these individual points on the photo, and then in software it then stacks it and then it gives you a high quality, high resolution, fully in focus image. I don't know what the reason is there for. Is it some? Is it a niche that is dying out? Uh, this is the question that I've been asking myself. So I'm an avid watch collector. Whether it be a cheap watch, an expensive watch, whatever the case may be, not those highly expensive watches. I don't have the money for those things. And usually when I get a new watch, I will take my macro lens and I will capture a couple of photos before I actually start wearing the watch because then I know there's no scratches on it, whatever the case may be. I just got myself this new... I don't know which brand, I don't know where this brand actually comes from. M-E-G-I-R, Megir watch. So it's not an expensive watch, but I like it, it looks nice uh, from a dress watch perspective. And if you look at my setup, my setup is also quite weird because I'm using a Panasonic with a converter and then a Nikon macro lens on it. I read a couple of articles a while back where people are complaining about people killing insects in order for them to take macro shots and those type of things. And yeah, yeah, I don't know about that entire thing. There is obviously a, a niche for macro photographers, whether it comes to insects, whether it comes to details of watches, whether it comes to those type of things. You do have those individuals and they buy these very expensive cameras in order for you to do that. But manufacturers are no longer creating things for your average consumer. So a normal macro lens that you can just go and buy a brand new one. All of the lenses that basically are coming out now is either designed for, for filmmaking, for portrait photography, for landscape photography and so forth. Yes, your megapixels of your camera is, in, is increasing, which means that you can obviously take a picture and uh, with a higher megapixel, with a higher resolution, it gives you that capability to actually zoom into the picture a lot more and, and still retain a lot of the quality of it. Uh, shooting at a higher aperture also allows you then to get a little bit more detail of the product or item that you are capturing and stuff like that. But it doesn't give you that capability to take an f2.8 lens and get right in there to the nooks and crannies of the product or whatever it is that you are capturing. Is macro photography really going out of fashion? Is it something that is dying out slowly but surely? Is it a niche that you believe will still exist moving forward? Are camera brands no longer focusing on this thing at all? Something of the 90s, something of the early 2000s and nothing further. Um, or is there still a market for macro photographers along the way? One of the things that you need to consider, especially as a beginner photography, macro photography teaches you patience. <laughs> Let me put it that way. It teaches you patience. It teaches you to look at the finer details. It, teach, it gives you eye that... I, I now need to take my time, I, the camera mustn't shake, the, 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 I, I'm utilizing manual focus, so these are all practice things that you can utilize, and this improved, it helped me improve my photography overall, by going into macro photography and just playing around with it, because I could then utilize the things that I've learned in macro photography, I can use it in my normal portraiture, I can use it in 
commercial photography and so forth because I know now there's that pinpoint focus points that I need to look at and stuff like that. That is the new niche market. If I, if, if from what I'm seeing, that is where people are going. So there are, they'll spend the hundreds or thousands of dollars extra to buy a camera that does that specific thing because they know that they are going, they are doing magazine type photograph. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Macro photography dying or not?